Arirang Special Salt The oldest seasoning in history and also the most familiar seasoning to us. The word salt in Korean can also mean small gold. That is how important salt is to us. But do we know enough about salt and do we consume it properly? Salt may hold the answer to a healthier and happier food culture. There are many delicious foods in the world, but are they all good for our health? The World Health Organization recommends that people limit their daily sodium intake to 2,000 milligrams. Okay. 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 Although low-sodium food has become a trend, few people are willing to give up the salty fast food they are used to. Can people protect their health without eliminating seasoning from their diet? There is good news for people who are not ready to cut down on salt yet. Dr. Alderman says that eating too little salt is not necessarily good for your health. Low-sodium diets salt restriction increases your risk of actually heart attacks, stroke, and other causes of death, all cause mortality, but mostly cardiovascular disease. Recent studies show that low sodium consumption is a detrimental to health as excessive consumption. Both too much and too little salt can cause health problems. But one thing is clear here. Salt is indispensable. Would these dishes give pleasure to people if they contained less salt? Neither kimchi, a staple in Korean cuisine, nor salted seafood would be possible to make without salt. The same applies to chili paste gochujang, bean paste duenjang, and soy sauce kangjang. Without salt, there would be no food to eat. Salt consists of sodium, a positive ion, and chlorine, a negative ion. The human body is about 0.9% sodium chloride in the form of physiological salt solution. It regulates the muscles and nerves. All living things need salt to survive. This is why sometimes they climb precipitous cliffs in search of salt. As a preservative, salt has had a profound influence on human civilizations. Thanks to salt, people learned how to store food for a long time. In Egypt, people learned how to make mummies using salt. The Tripitaka coriana was also preserved to this day by soaking it in salt water. People who possessed salt conquered the world. Countries such as Italy and Spain that had been rich in salt since old times achieved prosperity as the world's largest trade centers. Sometimes fights for salt field ownership resulted in wars. In ancient Rome, soldiers received salt as a payment for their service. 
In fact, the word salary originated from the Latin word salarium, meaning salt, which referred to such a payment. Salt is also believed to chase away evil spirits and purify things. In Korea, salt was one of the important taxation items. Salt is produced by evaporating seawater or collecting it from salty lakes and wells. Most salt is extracted from mines and is called rock salt. In Korea, salt was traditionally produced by boiling seawater. Seawater was boiled in large pots to produce salt crystals. During the Japanese colonial rule, the production of bay salt was launched to mass produce salt. Bay salt is produced by collecting seawater and evaporating it using the wind and heat of the sun on salt farms. Surrounded by water on three sides, Korea has ideal conditions for producing bay salt. Bay salt production, which has a centennial history in Korea, has become one of its traditions. That is why bay salt farms in Shinan Jalanondo province were designated as the nation's important fisheries heritage system number four. Then how do countries that do not border oceans produce salt? This is a salt farm in Laos, an inland country. The scene looks familiar. It is similar to how Korean traditional salt is made. Laotians make salt by lifting groundwater from the salt layer deep inside the ground and boiling it. Laotian salt is less salty but softer compared to other types of salt. It is also rich in minerals from the groundwater. Perhaps that's why Laotian salt is very popular these days among tourists. Produced in many different ways, salt also contains different components per type. Some kinds of salt contain more than 99% sodium chloride, while others contain plenty of minerals. Does it really matter how many minerals salt contains? Mitochondria, one of the components of cells, produces energy in the body by using oxygen and nutrients. When mitochondria loses its function, harmful active oxygen is produced because it cannot utilize oxygen fully. Mitochondrial activity is influenced by the salt we eat. Active oxygen is known to be the main cause of aging in almost all kinds of diseases. It undermines protein and fat in cells by oxidizing them. In other words, less active oxygen means a lower risk of disease. Mud flats on the west coast of Korea, which is surrounded by water on three sides, are a valuable source of high quality salt rich in minerals. Salt farms are busy ahead of the kimchi making season in Korea. This year's summer was extremely hot. Salt has been abundant. But the salt farmers look discouraged. 소금값이 안정화가 돼 갖고 소금값이 좋으면 그게 될 텐데 소금값이 너무 많이 이렇게 떨어져 버리면 저희가 뭐 한해 일해 갖고 그게 나오질 않아요. 
지금 소금 가격으로 봐서는 앞날이 어둡다고 봐야 되죠 20kg 한 가마니에 담배값보다 못하고 있는데 과연 이걸 해야 되나 좀 막막합니다 Basalt is treated even worse than cigarettes. How much do consumers buy it for? 보수매를 같이 병행하고 있는데 거의 한 14,000원 선에서 움직이고 있어요. 현재. 그거는 뭐 평균적으로 어떻습니까? 가격이. 예, 작년에 비해서는 조금 내려왔다고 볼수 있고요. 소금 가격은 제가 개인적으로 봤을 때는 현지에서 고생하시는 분에 비해서 가격이 저렴하다고 저는 생각됩니다. Domestic bay salt accounts for only 30% of the salt sold in Korea. The biggest threat comes from Chinese bay salt. Low-priced Chinese bay salt of poor quality is often disguised as Korean bay salt, tarnishing the reputation of bay salt. On the other hand, some kind of salts are treated as valuable. They cost several times more than domestic bay salt. One kind of them is bay salt from mudflats. They have the same origin as Korean bay salt, but cost much more. What is the reason? France, a country of culture, tradition, and gourmands. What is the secret of the salt valued in this country whose people are known to have very discerning palates? We visited a place where highly regarded French bay salt is produced on mud flats like that of Korean bay salt. It is the Gurand in northwestern France, the producer of premium salt. The salt crystals floating in the water like ice are known as the flowers of salt or fleur de sel. Tout à fait, parce que ça se ramasse en plus petite quantité, déjà. Donc c'est pour ça. Et euh, donc c'est une dorée beaucoup plus rare. Voilà, uniquement la raison. Guérin's salt farms date back many centuries and form the home of French salt. Salt produced here was exported to every part of Europe. While the Mediterranean Sea was the salt center of southern Europe, Guérin was that of northern Europe. Even after many centuries, salt farmers in Guran take pride and do their best to preserve the tradition. Pour ce qui est de la différence, la fleur de sel est donc un sel de surface. Il est plus fin, il est plus fragile. C'est un peu comme de la neige. Et le gros sel, lui, cristallise dans le fond directement sur l'argile. Mais au niveau de la production, la fleur de sel représente 5% de la production à peu près. Et prend beaucoup de main d'œuvre, beaucoup de temps à ramasser parce qu'il faut écrémer l'eau sur la surface. Donc ce qui explique la différence de prix. Salt farmers in Guran take pride in the natural harmony of their salt farms. The clean Atlantic Ocean and mudflats with various living organisms make Guran's salt farm an ecological sacred place. There is one more thing. Traditions and culture that have been handed down for more than a thousand years. Garan salt farms as well as salt making methods and tools have been preserved intact for over 1,000 years. Evaporation, so the water was already very concentrated. It continued to concentrate, so crystallization, grain of salt. If I want the salt tomorrow in my eye, I have to send the water to you. C'est ce que j'ai fait, j'ai renvoyé de l'eau et en fin de compte, je pousse, j'ai un côté avec mon outil qui sert à pousser l'eau, je pousse l'eau donc je pousse les grains de sel et au dernier moment pour les faire monter sur ce qu'on appelle la ladure, je retourne encore une fois, j'ai pas trois côtés mais je reprends le premier côté et là, à ce moment-là, je glisse sous les grains et je monte, je monte les grains de sel. The product created by a long tradition and beautiful scenery is right here. But even Guran salt was unable to endure price competition in the face of industrialization, mass production, and cheap imported salt. 
A breakthrough was found by producing high-end salt. It was promoted as a gift of nature and a guardian of history and culture. Hundreds of kinds of salt welcome tourists at this store selling Guran's regional specialties. Now Guran has become synonymous with high quality salt. This public agency in the outskirts of Guran certifies the quality of salt. Donc, euh, je suis Alexandra Ogno, je suis responsable euh, du pôle des produits agricoles et agroalimentaires. Donc c'est un des quatre pôles de l'Institut. Ce pôle euh, est en charge tout ce qui est euh, AOP, IGP du secteur agroalimentaire. Donc l'Institut, c'est un établissement public qui gère l'ensemble des signes de qualité au niveau euh, français. Donc à savoir euh, les AOP, les IGP, le label rouge, l'agriculture biologique et la spécialité traditionnelle garantie STG. Une des, des particularités de l'INAO, c'est que les professionnels ont euh, des assemblées délibératives que l'on appelle des, des comités nationaux qui vont euh, prendre les, les décisions sur les propositions de cahier des charges pour reconnaître un nouveau signe d'appellation d'origine ou d'indication géographique. Thanks to the government support and efforts of salt farmers, French salt was able to earn worldwide recognition for its superb quality. This was their secret. Guerin's salt farms were almost shut down once. But now they are moving toward a more prosperous future. France, a country of gustatory pleasures. It would be rude not to try the local cuisine once you're here. French people are known to have the longest meals in the world. To them, eating is not just about filling their stomachs. It is a way to enjoy life and a part of their culture. A team of 20 chefs works busily in the kitchen to create exquisite food with outstanding tastes and aromas. It is led by Sebastian, a veteran chef with 17 years of experience and salt. To this chef, salt is an important food ingredient on par with foie gras. Salt determines the beginning and end of every dish. This chef says he prefers certain kinds of salt. Alors j'ai utilisé deux sels. J'ai utilisé un, donc, donc du sel de Guérande, un nature et un aromatisé. Beaucoup moins agressif qu'un sel fin que quand on met sur des tomates du sel fin ou euh, sur un poisson où euh, le, le, le sel fin se résorbe et absorbe tout de suite dans les chairs. On a toujours ce croquant qui se, qui se dissout tout doucement dans, les, dans, dans des légumes, dans une salade de tomates, et on a vraiment quelque chose de merveilleux en bouche et d'un assaisonnement beaucoup plus délicat avec du sel de Guérande et encore mieux de la fleur de sel de Guérande en tout cas. Then what would this chef who is used to the taste of Guran salt think about Korean bay salt? We asked him to try it. Would Korean bay salt impress his discerning palate? Très fin, très fondant, mais euh, pas agressif du tout. Donc euh, voilà. Donc très jolie couleur en plus, très blanc, très jolie couleur. Voilà, c'est un sel que euh, j'utiliserai euh, volontiers, euh, sans problème aussi, dans ma cuisine comme ça, sur euh, voilà, sur une, euh, une finalisation d'un plat, un assaisonnement d'un poisson. Euh, on est vraiment sur quelque chose un petit peu euh, sur les mêmes, les mêmes caractéristiques qu'un sel de Guérande ou qu'une fleur de sel et tout. Euh, on a vraiment ce flocon là très, euh, très léger euh, et euh, fondant et équilibré quoi. Non, non, très bien. Sebastian seems impressed by the Korean base salt. Without hesitation, he pours it into his salt container. Allez, on va le mettre. Euh... 
day salt born on the west coast of Korea has arrived in a foreign country across the ocean. Soon it will reach the palates of French customers through the chef's food. Will Korean bay salt be able to take root in this country? Support from French chefs also played a crucial role in promoting Korean salt. As a salt of choice for French chefs who take enormous pride in their profession, Guerin salt became an iconic cooking ingredient in French cuisine. These familiar containers tucked among bottles of wine contain Guerin salt. This restaurant also sells Guerin salt. La fleur de sel, c'est vraiment particulier parce que ça permet de saler très légèrement et d'avoir un sel qui se voit, qui, qui, euh, qui se met au dernier moment sur les plats et qui donne un peu de croquant et qui rehausse le goût des plats mais sans saler trop fort. C'est pour ça qu'on l'utilise beaucoup euh, pour l'esthétique et puis pour le goût. Another reason Guerin salt is so special is the fact that it comes from mud flats. Salt produced in mudflats is a rare resource that accounts for 0.1% of all salt produced in the world. Did you know that Korea is home to one of the world's five largest mudflats? The west coast of Korea is home to a huge mudflat. It is an ecological treasure house of diverse flora and fauna. In recognition of its priceless value, it was designated as a Ramsar wetland and a UNESCO biosphere reserve. There is one more gift of nature that can be found in the mudflat, bay salt. Like Guerin salt, it is also produced in mudflats. This means that Korean bay salt must also have outstanding quality on par with Guerin salt. An analysis of Korean bay salt showed that it contained less sodium than Guerin salt, but more magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Since old times, Korea has been called the land of beautiful natural scenery. Korea's bay salt represents its clean water and lush mountains. Experts say that Korea's unique geological features also play a role in the quality of salt. 퇴저감에서 물이 나오면 이렇게 아주 신선하고 깨끗한 물이 안 나옵니다. 사실 전 세계 70%가 퇴저감이죠. 우리나라는 70%가 이게 화강하고 관련된 화산 터졌고 특히 심 아주 깊은 곳에서 올라온 화강암으로 구성이 되어 있기 때문에 물도 좋고 화강암에서 기원한 물질 때문에 어 갯벌의 그 미네랄이 우수하게 됩니다. Is Korean bay salt, which contains so many useful components, good for our health too? A study shows that bay salt helps treat obesity better than other kinds of salt. 고지방 식이를 먹였을 때 아, 여기 동글동글한 게 있는데 그 간에 그 지방구가 이렇게 축적된 것을 볼 수가 있습니다. 아, 근데 이게 정제염의 경우는 크게 이렇게 차이가 없었는데 우리나라산 천일염의 경우 특히 이두 염전에서 나온 거는 어, 지방구의 양이 이 컨트롤이나 이 외국산 천일염보다 훨씬 이렇게 적게 이렇게 축적이 돼서 우리나라산 천일염이 그 간의 지방 축적을 억제하는 이런 그 효과가 있다라는 것을 볼 수가 있습니다. Studies also show that in addition to obesity, salt has similar effects on inflammation and cancer as well. 소금의 종류에 따라서 암을 억제하는 효과가 있다는 것을 저희가 발견을 했거든요. 그 우리나라산 천일염이 이제 외국산 천일염보다 더 좋았는데 어, 역시 쥐에서 대장암을 유도를 해 가지고 암을 일으켜서 그 조직 그 대장 조직을 떼서 그 대장 대장에서 만들어진 종양 개수를 이렇게 측정해 보니까 아, 이 컨트롤에 비해서 아, 우리나라산 천일염이 상당히 많이 그 감소시키는 아, 이런 효과가 있었고. What makes some kinds of salt more effective than the others? 
지구에 사는 그 생물체는 대부분 다그 미네랄을 필요로 하면서 NaCl 소금을 원합니다. 근데 정제염의 경우는 어, 그 우리가 일반적으로 볼때 깨끗하게 보여서 어, 더 좋다 이렇게 생각할 수 있지만 에, 그 천일염 같이 그 NaCl을 주로 가지면서 우리 몸이나 생물체에 필요한 미네랄을 같이 갖고 있다는 것이 너무나 중요합니다. The ocean is the origin of life and the mother of earth. An amniotic fluid in which a fetus grows. The components of amniotic fluid are 99% similar to seawater. In other words, amniotic fluid and the ocean contain all the nutrients that living organisms need to be born and grow. 천일염은 우리가 이제 그 바다에서 바로 이제 그 체험을 했기 때문에 바닷물의 조성과 거의 비슷하고 또그 조성이 우리 인체의 조성 그 미네랄 조성과 비슷하기 때문에 또 아, 또 미생물들이 자랄 때도 에, 그런 필요한 그 미네랄이 그 바닷물 속에 있는 그 조성과 비슷하기 때문에 아, 이 천일염이 어, 훨씬 좋다 이렇게 그볼 수가 있겠습니다. Traditional markets in Incheon sell all kinds of foods that go well with salt. From salted seafood to salted fish, all of them represent the genuine taste of bay salt. Only bay salt can make salted seafood taste this way, a fact that changed the fate of bay salt just when it almost disappeared from use. In 2008, salt, which used to be classified as a mineral, was designated as a food. The designation brought a big change to salt farms. They began their transformation from mineral production to food production. First of all, they changed the flooring of salt pits into one made of eco-friendly linoleum tiles daughter boards or clay. Eco-friendly flooring was essential to eliminate any hazardous substances from getting mixed with the salt and to prevent mud decay. Paths on which farmers walked were cleaned, while salt ponds were replaced with ones made of natural materials such as wood and clay that do not decay or rust. Saltwater pipes and seawater tanks were also replaced with clean ones. Glasswork growing near salt farms was no longer regarded as a weed. In the past, salt farmers sprayed pesticides on glassware because they believed it to undermine salt production. But now they let it grow naturally because glasswort helps purify salt water and contributes useful components to the salt. It turns out that these farmers are washing glasswort. From a very long time ago, glasswort was a valuable source of food to salt farmers. Salty taste makes it a versatile cooking ingredient. 나물 무칠 때 넣어서 같이 무쳐 먹기도 하고 고기 구워 먹을 때 뿌려서 구워 먹기도 하고 액기스에서 김치도 담고 불고기도 재고 다양하죠. 나도 그때도 시켜. 담는 것도 한다고 지금 Did you know that glasswort is now being known as the sea's asparagus? It is rich in calcium, magnesium, and iron since it grows in mudflats which contain ample amounts of minerals. Washed and boiled glasswork can also be made into pills or powder. It helps treat hypertension, diabetes, and constipation, and helps with weight loss. It's a rare gift from the mudflats. Then what about the sea water, where the salt comes from? Is it safe from pollutants brought from China?
we decided to check how many elements of heavy metal are contained in Korean basalt sold in stores and in Gyuran salt. We requested a test for four kinds of heavy metals, arsenic, lead, mercury, and cadmium. What are the results? Would we be able to eat Korean basalt freely without worry? The permissible levels are under 2 mg per kilogram for lead, 0.5 mg for cadmium and arsenic, and 0.1 mg for mercury. 실험에 사용된 두 가지 소금 모두 기준에 적합한 것으로 판명됐습니다. 특히 한국의 천일염의 경우는 프랑스에 비해서 오히려 더 낮은 수치를 보였는데요. 이는 한국의 바다가 프랑스의 바다보다 오히려 더 중금속에 깨끗하다는 것을 나타냅니다. A solar salt team from Mukbo National University visited Dochodo Island in Shinangun in September. 지금 도초 지역 해역 조사 때문에 바람을 최소화로 지금 가고 있어요. The Solar Salt R&D Center in Mokpo National University manages the quality and safety of Korean Bay salt. Today the team is going to collect seawater to conduct such activities. Seawater is collected from multiple locations within selected 10 zones all around the nation's waters. Any seawater that flows into salt farms is subject to inspection. In addition to seawater, inspections are made on the salt produced this year and the salt from the salt farms. In order to check the presence of pesticides or wastewater from nearby farms or factories. So, 염전 토양 내 중금속 함량이 얼마나 있는지 그 지금 생산하고 있는 염전의 토양이 지금 그 기준이 안전한지를 검사하기 위해서 염전 토양을 검사를 하고 있습니다. The inspectors also make sure to check the seawater stored in the reservoir. They have now collected all the components of basalt. The collected samples are tested for heavy metals, such as arsenic, lead, mercury, and cadmium, as well as E. coli and other bacteria. We have been 지금까지 모든 결과가 식용 천일염 해역에 대한 안전성 기준에 모두 적합한 게 측정이 되었습니다. 만약 기준치가 초과가 된다면은 식용 천일염 금지 해역 지정이 되며 그 지정된 해역은 해양수산부와 그 담당 지자체의 보고가 이루어지게 되고 원인 분석을 할수 있는 체계로 진행이 되고 있습니다. It has been 10 years since bay salt was designated as food. The salt farmer's awareness has been changing slowly, yet firmly. They are now collecting the last salt harvest of the year. Salt farms in Jalanando province, the largest bay salt producer in Korea, have decided to halt this year's production about a month earlier than last year. Uh, 어, 품질을 또 보존하고 또 소비자에게 그 고품질 천일염을 공급하기 위해서 어, 생산 종료일을 지금 앞으로 당겼습니다. Basalt is produced between March and October every year. However, the quality of salt begins to deteriorate in mid-September when the wind becomes colder. 임대인들도 당신네들이 좋은 소금 내면은 내고 좋은 가격을 받으면 그게 나더 나을 거라고 생각해. 아니로 Salt farmers these days choose quality over quantity. They view salt as a precious gift from the Yellow Sea. This salt farm on Shin Uido Island became the first in Korea to obtain the highest quality certification mark from the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, which was introduced last year. 
오염원으로부터 500m 이상 이렇게 이제 이격돼 있었던 부분이고 그리고 이제 두 번째는 소금을 만드는 바닷물 바닷물의 성분들이 어떤 식품 규격에 맞아야 되고 두 번째는 또세 번째는 우리 천일염을 생산하고 있는 토양 갯벌 그렇죠 갯벌 부분의 어떤 성분 분석을 해야 되는 거고 All of the previous facilities on the farm have been replaced. Linoleum in salt pits was replaced with daughter boards and covered with red clay boards baked without any glaze. The farm must keep track of salt production control in daily management journals to make sure that everything is in line with the certification requirements. Mr. Kang Sung Hong spares no effort in maintaining his farm because he wants to publicize the superior quality of Korean salt. He hopes that many people would learn about the superb quality and unlimited potential of the bay salt produced in the west coast of Korea. Recently, he has been preparing another ambitious project, mud flat salt. <laughs> Salt crystals rich in minerals bloom in the mud flat. The collected salt is placed in jars for fermentation. This salt represents Mr. Kang Sun Hong's passion in various attempts. 결정을 잘게 만들어 가지고 거기에 이제 함초 액기스를 섞어서 지금 논 소금 함초 소금. 우리나라가 최고의 소금이 어떤 것이겠느냐? 가장 명품이 어떤 것이겠느냐? 그러면 이제 소금이 만들어지기 전에 이제 소금꽃이라고 생각하면요. 이 소금꽃 자체를 가연 이제 자연적인 상태에서 숙성시키고 또 건조를 시키기 위해서 지금 그러고 있거든요. This salt farm continues to make new endeavors. What kind of salt does this farm on Dochodo Island produce? 바람이 주는 꽃이라 해서 바람꽃 소금. 저희가 이제 this salt has larger crystals than regular salt. There is also functional salt made by being mixed with seaweed such as glasswort. Scented functional salt mixed with other ingredients is also popular overseas now. Avec notre sel, et aujourd'hui les tendances culinaires sont beaucoup pour euh, la pratique des épices, du sel, la cuisine à la maison. On retourne sur des bases traditionnelles, donc on a un beau succès avec nos sels aux herbes, les mélanges. Healing centers and tourism items also demonstrate the potential of the sixth industrialization through salt. Kim Hyun-suk is the eldest daughter-in-law of the clan of the Baechon Chos and a culinary researcher. She is especially interested in Korean traditional fermented foods. That's because they have a profound and healthy taste. The taste of fermented foods is determined by salt. 적어도 3년 이상의 소금을 절이거나 고창 된장을 사용할 때 사용하면 훨씬 더 낫고 10년 짜리면 더 좋겠죠. 그래서 오래 될수록 소금의 맛은 더 맛을 도두게 되고 김치에 사용했을 때는 일단은 부드럽고 사각거려요. 단맛도 나고 봐요 가장 베이스가 그래서 간수가 좀 빠진 오래 되면 될수록 더 맛있겠죠. 푸짐해 보여요 원래. Kim Hyun Suk says that fermented foods like kimchi and traditional paste taste better when they are made with salt that was fermented for over three years. We decided to find out. We made kimchi using three kinds of salt refined salt, three-year-old bay salt, and regular bay salt. First, we melted salt in water to achieve the same levels of salinity. Then we soaked Napa cabbages separately per salt water. Using the same salinity levels is important in kimchi experiments because different kinds of salt contain different levels of sodium chloride. Other conditions must also be identical, since kimchi is a very sensitive food. 
Its taste can differ significantly according to how long the cabbages had been salted and what kinds of cabbages and supplementary ingredients were used. We made sure that all the conditions excluding the types of salt were exactly the same. Now the kimchi will be left to ferment for one month. Korean bay salt displays its full potential when used in fermented food. Korean elders say that three-year-old salt is the best because the magnesium, which has a bitter taste, is washed away with the moisture, forming the right salinity. Korean ancestors acquired this wisdom after many centuries of experience. Can the wisdom of our ancestors be proved scientifically? We analyze the components of the three kinds of kimchi. We are trying to find out two things through this experiment. The first one is lactic acid bacteria. One of the reasons people eat fermented foods like kimchi is to obtain useful bacteria that will keep intestines healthy and boost the immune system. The other one is yeast. Yeast causes molds to grow on kimchi and gives it a musty smell when it is fully matured. How does the amount of lactic acid bacteria and yeast differ per cell type? 우선은 천일염의 경우에는 유산균이 먹이로 사용할 수 있는 생육에 도움을 줄수 있는 무기질류가 많이 있기 때문에 그 무기질의 영향에 따라서 유산균의 증식이 더 정제염보다는 증식이 더잘 되는 것으로 측정이 되었고 김치가 어느 정도 그 숙성이 도달이 됐을 경우에는 유산균 수는 비슷한 것으로 나왔습니다. The best results were shown by three-year-old bay salt. This university lab studies how the tastes of kimchi, salted seafood, and fermented paste differ according to what kind of salt is used. Yusangun. 아 그런데 천일염을 첨가한 김치나 된장에서 효모의 정식이 크게 억제되는 걸 저희가 확인했습니다. 그래서 요두 개, 즉 유익한 세균의 정식은 촉진이 되고 해로운 효모의 정식은 억제되는 그런 효과가 천일염이 들어갈 경우에 있구나 하는 걸 저희가 확인을 했습니다. Autumn is the time for high skies and plump horses. It is also the season for pastes and kimchi to mature. Our ancestors made kimchi and salted seafood in autumn to prepare for the winter. Autumn is also the time when salt is in high demand. But the presence of Chinese salt in the Korean market continues to expand. Chinese bay salt, which contains too much water and impurities, has tarnished the reputation of bay salt in general. How can bay salt regain the trust of consumers? A salt tracing system has been introduced recently as a solution. Information on salt producers is inserted in the packaging so that anyone can easily view it. This system is possible thanks to salt processing complexes. 산지 가격이 안정 그리고 안정적인 재고 확보를 위한 것입니다. 그래서 산지에서 생산되는 소금을 가격을 안정시키기 위해서 어느 정도 재고를 확보하고 그리고 고급의 품질을 유지하여서 소비자들에게 공급하는 역할을 하는 것입니다. The mission of salt processing complexes is to increase the trust in bay salt by improving the quality of bay salt and its distribution structure. Here, the salt is rinsed in salt water, dehydrated and dried. 
all the impurities are removed in this process. Now the salt is ready to be supplied to a company producing traditional chili paste gochujang. The supply of bay salt to a gochujang factory has a more profound meaning than just finding another marketing channel. Stable marketing channels for salt producers and high quality salt for consumers, a successful way of serving two ends. Another possibility to create a better future for Korean bay salt is exportation. With the right marketing strategies, Korean salt will be able to receive recognition in the global market. It might be small yet, but the results are coming in. A special event dedicated to the future development of salt was organized in Samsungdong, Seoul. There are more kinds of salt than we think and it can be used for a much wider range of purposes. Salt has unlimited potential. Salt is more than just a seasoning. It enriches the flavor and aroma of our meals and makes our food culture healthier. That is the future of salt we envision and the conditions to make it a premium ingredient.